Well, this is a really nice example, an honest example of a pattern 1853 Enfield rifle musket. And these were used widely in the Civil War by the North and the South. And this is pretty honest gun, and it's got some really cool history associated with it. So let's take a look at this. Obviously, the Enfield was used by both the North and the South during the Civil War. The English were uh, basically furnishing both sides. So the English kind of had a relationship with the South because of the cotton industry. So they provided a lot of munitions and you'll see a lot of English guns used by the Confederacy like the Kerr revolvers, um, Tranter revolvers, and the Enfield rifle musket. They pretty much tried to run the blockades down South and a lot of those had unique markings uh, that are associated with the Confederacy. This one we know is a Union gun and we know that for, for one reason. So I was, I was looking Looking at a number of the guns, I took a look at this one and it had an old tag that basically said Isaac Haskell, Auburn, Maine, 23rd, Maine. And it's an old tag, you can see there's a lot of age. It's basically turned yellow with age. And the gentleman shared, yeah, that's attributed to this guy who served in the Civil War. There's an old tag hanging off it. So when I started looking at it a lot closer, I picked it up and I looked on the underside of the trigger guard and there, clear as day, in punch engraving, it says IWH, and on the trigger guard, 23 in Roman numerals with an E here. So you basically have this beautiful old punch engraved identification that matches up with the name that's attributed to the tag. Okay, so what do you do from there? Well, you go on the, the, uh, the National Archives at the National Park Service, and we punched in the name of the gentleman, and bingo, there was Isaac W. Haskell, and he basically served in the 23rd Maine Regiment. He was a private, and from, for nine months, from 1862 to 1863, he served in this unit. So, you know, when you see little tags like this, and it's kind of an attribution, that's one thing, but when you have that punch engraving, and, and you look it up and you confirm that that's exactly who carried the gun, you got a dead ringer. So that was, uh, so that was a great day when I found this and I was like, you know, obviously Civil War collecting, everybody loves identified items. And this is an identified musket for a guy who served in the main regiment. He later, it says, and we kind of deduced by the information on the National Park Service that after 1863, he um, resigned his post and he became a captain in the 20th Maine Infantry. So we've only done a little bit of research. I haven't done a lot of research on that, just kind of a cursory look and, but just with that information, uh, you have you have the beginning of a, a really cool research project uh, um, uh, regarding this gun. Now, the, the Pattern 53 Enfield rifle, it was ubiquitous in the Civil War. Hundreds of thousands of these were basically used during the war from the North and South. This one, kind of as found condition, has its bumps and bruises the way it should. Actually, I think Mr. Haskell sat by the uh, campfire a little too close one night because if you look at the bottom of this gun, it's all burned away. It looks like this was by a fire. So this thing could have been by the campfire or could have been, you know, in battle somehow, but that's a very old damage there and it looks like it's been scorched. It's been around some wood. So I don't know what Mr. Haskell was doing, but maybe he fell, fell asleep on post and had his, uh, had his musket too close to the campfire. Kind of interesting. The date on the lock plate is 1863, has all the attributes that a P53 Enfield does. It has the three barrel bands. It's fixed for a socket bayonet. It's got the standard rear sight, has these markings on the back, could have been made in Birmingham. You can do the research on that and find out exactly where it was made. Um, but a really cool relic of the Civil War. A lot of guys love identified items. This one is definitely identified, um, but is not really quite researched yet. This is kind of an as-found Civil War musket identified. Uh, obviously, it's antique. Please don't try to go out and shoot this. It's not intended to be shot. It's a historic artifact, and that's how we sell it, just for that uh, value. It has a couple little 
you know, not, no major uh, uh, condition issues, but Tang is a little bit loose. Uh, let's try the action. Wow, really actually nice and tight. The spring is tight on that. Works the way it's supposed to. Locks up nicely. And it's just a really cool identified artifact of the Civil War. So it was really interesting finding this gun. It was interesting doing a little bit of the research. Obviously, we're getting hundreds of guns through here um, on a regular basis. I can't, I don't have time to sit and research every one. So, so that's kind of up to you. We're offering it just like this as we found it with a little bit of research and a good lead to work from. And it's just a really a pleasure to see a gun that was definitely carried in the Civil War by an identified soldier, and it's only available here at Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1470, an identified 1863 dated Enfield musket for only $1,995. Again, that's item M1470, an identified 1863 dated Enfield musket for the collector-friendly price of just $1,995.